Boki Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And as we uh, are looking here this morning, already the Russian embassy in Damascus has uh, been shelled from the terrorist-controlled area of Syria. That's the breaking news that RT is reporting this morning on October the 4th. Sounds like John Kirby's uh, words are coming true, as he stated in uh, his uh, speech where he has not recanted his uh, statement whatsoever, that uh, vacuums would be filled by the terrorists and that more of Russian interest would be attacked, even possibly Russian cities, and more Russians would go home in body bags. Uh, is Russia has called it a veiled threat, an indirect threat, many different ways, but uh, even uh, in, a, in a statement by Ms. Zakharova, uh, the Russian um, spokesman for Russia's uh, foreign affairs there has also stated, Yana will be bringing out a special broadcast on that. She watched her report live in Russian. I'll uh, be bringing out exactly what she's saying, how that uh, at one time, according to Former President Bush, Putin was considered one of the world's greatest allies. Now, since the Obama administration, that has all changed. And, of course, the threats that Kirby has spoke about are now coming to pass. The Russian embassy in Damascus came under fire on Tuesday from a neighborhood controlled by militant groups, um, including Al Nursa Front, the Russian Foreign Ministry reports. One of the mortar shells shares fired at the embassy complex hit the residential area while two others landed near the embassy building, the ministry said in a statement. Nobody was injured by the explosions. According to the reports, the shelling came from Jabar neighborhood of Damascus, which is under control of the terrorist groups uh, Jabat Hat Fateh al-Sham and Falik al-Rahman, uh, the ministry said. I can imagine then that there's going to be some heavy fighting in this neighborhood today in order to push them out of uh, the area surrounding Damascus. If you, if you guys recall, we were there overlooking Damascus during the ceasefire uh, time when we watched it be broken, uh, both to the north and to the uh, far east of Damascus. And I would assume, not knowing for sure where this is actually located, I haven't looked at the Russian embassy on the map as of yet, uh, but I do know that to the north, very close to Damascus, there was a lot of fighting then. No doubt this is where these groups are. Uh, but they have now targeted the Russian embassy, carrying out the threats that John Kirby spoke about, uh, the indirect threats, the proxy war between the Obama administration and that of Russia. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.